Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve Chapter 5 SST from Class 5 CBSC Board Weather and Climate. We will solve the exercise question answers and also solve the inside question answers from the chapter. So before we start requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on the right time. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist. You will find all the videos from there. So let's start. Weather and climate. And one more thing that don't skip the video was the video till end. At first we have some objective type question answers from the chapter. Tick the correct answer. Number one. The condition of the atmosphere at a given place and time is called number D weather. Number two, the sun's rays fall directly on the areas near the answer is number B equator. Number three, the water vapor or moisture present in the air is called answer is number B humidity. Number four, it is hot and humid throughout the year in the Answer is torrid zone. Number C. Next, fill in the blanks. Number B. Number 1. The climate of a place does not change over a long period of time. Number 2. The world of world uh, the world is divided into seven major climate regions. Number 3. The rays of the sun become slanting as one moves away from the equator. Number 4. Places near the coast have a moderate climate number five the frigid zones remain cold all the year round next we have some question answers from the chapter number c why do places near the equator receive more heat than those near the poles the rays of the sun fall on the surface of the earth near the equator these rays are vertical and spread over a small area as we move away from the equator and towards the poles, the rays from the equator, the rays become slanting and cover a large area. Thus, places near the equator receive more heat than those near the poles. Next, number two, write the differences between number A, weather and climate. Weather. Weather is defined as the condition of air temperature, air pressure, wind, humidity and rainfall in the atmosphere at a given place and time. Climate Number 1. The weather conditions that prevail over a large area and for a long period of time is called climate. Number 2. Weather changes every day. It may be hot and dry today but tomorrow it may be rainy and wet. Number two, the climate of a place remains more or less the same year after year. Number B, moderate climate and extreme climate. Moderate climate. Number one, this climate is neither too hot in summer nor too cold in winter. Extreme climate, number one, in this climate, summers are very hot and winters are very cold. Number two, the climate is generally found in coastal areas. Number two, Places far away from the sea have extreme climate. Number 3. Mumbai has moderate climate. Here number 3. Delhi has extreme climate. Now, next question. That is. Number 3. Why does Chennai have a moderate climate? Chennai is located along the coast so it gets the cool sea breeze throughout the year. That is why Chennai experiences a moderate climate throughout the year. Number 4. How do winds influence the climate of a place? Winds blowing from what regions increase the temperature of a place while those blowing from Cold regions decrease the temperature. Winds blowing from the sea make the lands close to the sea cool and moist. Sometimes wind brings clouds with them and cause rainfall. Next number 5. Describe the climatic conditions of each heat zone. Torrid zone, 
द टॉरिड जोन और द ट्रॉपिकल जोन लाइज ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द इक्वेटर बिटवीन द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्टिकॉन द क्लाइमेट इज हॉट एंड ह्यूमिड थ्रू आउट द ईयर बिकॉज डायरेक्ट रेज ऑफ द सन फॉल्स ओवर इट नेक्स्ट टेम्परेट जोन द एरियाज लाइंग बिटवीन द टॉरिड जोन एंड द फ्रिजिड जोन इज इन इन बोथ द हेमिसफियर्स आर कॉल्ड द टेम्परेट जोन इट इज नाइदर वेरी हॉट नॉट वेरी कोल्ड हियर एज दिस जोन आर अवे फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द पोस्ट फ्रिजिड जोन द एरियाज लाइंग बिटवीन द आर्कटिक सर्किल एंड द नॉर्थ पोल इन द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफियर एंड दैट बिटवीन द एंटार्कटिक सर्किल एंड द साउथ पोल इन द साउदर्न हेमिसफियर आर द फ्रिजिड जोन this zone receives slanting rays of the sun it remains very cold throughout the year okay now we have some inside question answers from the chapter so before we start again requesting you to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications from the channel let's start inside question answers from the chapter number 1 what causes season changes in weather conditions give rise to seasons number 2 how many seasons are there in india in india we enjoy three seasons summer winter and monsoon number 3 how seasons influences our lifestyle our lifestyle varies according to seasons it influences what we eat what we wear and even the types of houses we live in it also determines the crops that farmers grow number 4 How many climatic regions are there in the world? On the basis of prevailing climatic conditions, the world can be divided into seven major climatic regions. Number five: How distance from the equator influence the climate? The rays of the sun fall on the surface of the earth. Near the equator, these rays are vertical and are spread over a small area. As we move away from the equator and towards the poles, the rays become slanting and cover a larger area thus places near the equator receive more heat these places are hotter than those which are away from the equator number 6 how altitude above the sea level influence the climate we know that hill stations such as shimla nainital and uti are cool even in summers most peaks in the himalayas are covered with snow and ice even during summers This shows that places located at higher altitude are colder than those at lower altitudes even if they are situated on the same latitude. Number 7 how distance from the sea influences the climate. Places near the coast have a moderate climate. It is neither too hot nor too cold here. This is due to the effect of sea breezes. Water bodies heat up and cool down at a slower rate than land. in summer therefore the sea is cooler than the land hence air over the sea is cooler than that over the land this cool air called sea breeze blows from sea to land making the land cooler in winter the opposite happens and the land becomes warmer places far away from the sea do not get sea breezes so they are extremely hot in summer and very cold in winter such a climate is called extreme climate number 9 define humidity and altitude humidity amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity altitude height above sea level is called altitude last one number 10 name some hill stations shimla nainital uti so we will solve the chapter don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on the right time if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist you will find all the videos from there so that's all for today see you soon with a new video till then take care and bye